Good evening boys and girls and welcome back to another video guide. So this one's going to be probably my last video for this game and today we're going to be doing all the endings with achievements. So it's around nine achievements and seven different endings I believe and we're going to get through this as quickly as possible, no messing around. Uh, I'm going to keep the video as short as I possibly can because this dialogue is pretty damn long. So without further ado, before we do continue, hit that thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, comment, all that jazz, and let's get started. So, first and foremost, just after leaving the sitter, you reach this point just outside when you get your first vehicle. And now depending on which uh, route we take, either the landing zone or the alliance base, those will determine what endings we can actually get. Now you can get most going to the alliance base, but we can't get them all, so no matter what, we, we still have to use both pathways, unfortunately. But first and foremost, we're going to go through the Alliance base. And we're just going to collect the two endings for that one. It just makes life a little bit more simple to understand. So go to the Alliance base and I'll see you back at the bottom of Condor. Okay, so now we are at the bottom of Condor. Basically, we just want to make our way straight up to the top of the bridge on the top floor where Rahitra is located. Uh, just grab the key card and make your way directly there. We're not going to pick up the syringe for this one, so just ignore that. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the top floor and I'll see you at the bridge. Now at the bridge you will find Rahitra and we will also speak with Novik. And at this point there's going to be a lot of dialogue here, so you want to skip ahead as much as you can. Choose anything until you get to the necroevolution part. And at that part we're going to begin our first ending. So for this first ending, this one's going to be the I Leave No Man Behind, No Exceptions. Now again, you should have took the Alliance uh, the Alliance base path for this one. And we're just going to reach the Necro Evolution part of the dialogue, which should be coming up shortly. Here we go. And you want to choose There's No Point Speculating, the bottom one. And then that should uh, allow us to move on to the next part. I'm sorry, but I don't know. So let's cut through the dialogue here. So Rahitra is going to ask how we can defeat the cloud. How else should I say? And you want to choose. Uh, there is a chance of success, but it's small. There we go. There is a chance of success, but it's small, the very bottom. If this is going to work, the attack must be... And now we're going to have to run through this like several times uh, to get all the endings, so just bear that one in mind. It is a bit tedious. And then finally, uh, Rahitra is going to ask uh, if it's worth trying smaller charges. So, you think there's no point trying with smaller charges? There we go. Smaller charges. And you want to put, it won't hurt to try. Now, after doing this, basically we're going to uh, activate the launch control switches and we'll find out the cloud didn't die. Um, but we can make our way to the landing pad on the top. So, let's skip ahead to the landing pad and then we can get this achievement. Now at the lander, you want to work your way to the front of it, up to the steps. And for this one, you basically want to pull the door handle. And when the dialogue pops up, you want to select, I was supposed to wait for Rohitra. So the top one, I was supposed to wait for Rohitra. And basically, do not touch anything at this point, And just let the, uh, let the flies just swarm you. And that basically you've you've tried to save Rohitra by waiting for him, uh, and in the end you've you've killed yourself. And that would be for the I leave no man behind, no exceptions. And now after this, what you want to do is reload your save back at the bridge, just from the menu. Go to the menu, reload your save, and we're going to do it all again for the evacuation achievement. Alrighty, back at the bridge. Once again, we're going to go through what will be our second ending. 
And actually the last ending we're going to do for this path, which is the Alliance based path. And we're going to go all the way again till we get to the Necro Evolution, which should be coming up. As you can see the dialogue below, uh, you can follow that just to see where you're at as well. Uh, the Necro Evolution, and this time we're going to be choosing There's No Point Speculating. And once you've done this, we're going to skip all this dialogue again to the next part, so let's do that. Novik is going to once again ask us uh, if we agree. So this time we want to put, uh, there is a chance of success, but it's small. Bottom one. Let's move on to that next bit of dialogue that we've got coming up. After a sufficiently powerful explosion, the ocean waters will begin. You don't think we can defeat them and survive? Technically, and when Rahitra asks us about trying smaller charges, we're going to put it won't hurt to try. So that should be coming up. So you think there's no point trying with smaller charges? There we go. It won't hurt to try. I guess it won't hurt to try. And now, once we've been through all that, we can actually activate the launch control switches once again. Uh, and exactly the same as before, we're going to make our way uh, to the very top, to the uh, lander, to the hopper. So let's uh, skip ahead to there. Now at the lander, once again, we're going to choose the opposite dialogue to before. So if you can remember last time we actually stayed to so grab the handle and this choose this time choose damn you are right and then pull the handle again and that will close and seal the hatch and it will send you off into space to get to the evacuation achievement and that's the two endings for the alliance base room so now from this point what you want to do is reload the game all the way back into those crossroads where you got to choose between uh, the landing zone and the alliance base and this time you want to take the landing zone. So back at the crossroads you remember this part I'm sure uh, and this time we're going to take the road to the landing zone and the reason for this is because when we go there, the lander or the hopper is actually going to crash land, so we can't use it in the uh, in the other endings, which is what we need. So go ahead and do that, and it will send you back anyway to the Alliance base, which is fine. As long as you take the landing zone path, you are good to go. And unfortunately, you need to work your way through the entire story until we get back to the Condor. Now, when you are at the bottom of the Condor, hold it right there, because on the way up instead of going directly to the bridge sort of thing we need to pick up the syringe this time this is one of the endings we need so meet me at the bottom of condor and we will continue these endings okay we are back at the bottom of condor now what we need to do here is grab the key card i mean you have to do this anyway to get to the bridge but grab the first key card and it's the next floor that we want to focus on so grab the key card, activate the elevator, um, make your way up to the next floor. We're just going to skip ahead to that bit. And on the next floor, we want to head to the med bay. I mean, you have to head here anyway to get the next key card, uh, but you can completely miss the uh, syringe. So go straight ahead to the very back, to the lobby, just head to the lobby at the back and then to the right in block H. Now just follow this all the way through these doors, around the dead bodies. Take a left. And then inside, you will find the keycard and the syringe. So you can, well, you can see the access card as it's called, not the keycard, same thing. On the left side table there, and then the syringe is next to the window on the left as well. So grab that, and uh, again, that's going to play a part in one of the endings. We need this for the ending. If you don't do this, then it just basically means we're going to have to start from the bottom of Condor again. So if we grab this now, then um, 
if we grab this now, then we basically don't have to come back to the bottom of Condor and we can just reload our save point every single time, which is a bonus. So, okay, so now head up to the bridge. So now that we are at the bridge and we have our syringe, we are not going to be using it just yet. We're going to do some different endings first. So this first part on the bridge, we're going to follow it through and get the Peacemaker achievement. So we're going to once again go to the Necro Evolution dialogue from there, which is coming up very, very shortly. Uh, and you will notice the dialogue's a little bit different this time, so just follow carefully on this one. Um, once we have done the Peacemaker achievement, this will continue and it will take us to the Hibernation Chamber. That is where we can get another two achievements, however, we can only get one at a time. So we will have to run the Peacemaker again a second time to actually do the second achievement in the Hibernation Chamber, which is fine. So, so let's get ourselves to the Necro Evolution part, which is coming up very shortly. Here we go, and choose Necro Evolution Thera Discussion, the top one. And now we're going to get quite a bit of dialogue for this. Uh, Yasna's going to go through um, a bit of everything, explaining this, that and the other. We're going to skip ahead to the next bit of dialogue, which will actually trigger more, um, more dialogue. At first, they started producing flying machines. So now, it should be coming up in short, this is how evolution works. Top one. And yet again, Yasna will explain everything and go through all the dialogue. And now we're going to wait till Novik asks if we agree. That same part as before, if you can remember the previous runs. So this time for this one, we want to fully agree and not attack. So it should be coming up. There we go. So you want to select... I fully agree we shouldn't attack at the very top. And then finally, we will have one last uh, one last thing from Rohitra. He'll ask what else we can do if not attack. Again, the same as before. And again, the same as before, we want to put evacuate from here. So let's just go through all this. And you want to put evacuate from here. We can leave this place and never come back. And now what's going to happen is Rohitra will be done with one press of a button left and he won't be able to drop the bombs. He just won't have the courage to do it. And that should get you the Peacemaker achievement. Now, once this is complete, we will head into the hibernation chamber. There will be some dialogue before that, so click whatever you want after this point uh, until we reach the hibernation chamber. And there we go, one press of a button, there'll be no turning back. And he will bail. He doesn't have the minerals. Alright, so let's skip ahead. Again, choose any dialogue you want until we get to the hibernation chamber. And let's do another achievement, which should be another giant. Okay, so in the hibernation chamber... You can select any dialogue that pops up just here. Lack of sleep can kill you, whatever you want. And then it's the next bit of dialogue we need to be careful of. So I'm just going to run it through this just so you can see what's happening. I don't want to confuse you or get you to miss anything. But I mean, don't get me wrong, this is really easy to follow anyway. So basically Rohitra is going to ask if we can check on his friend. And then from that point, that is when the next bit of dialogue will pop and ask us whether we're going to stay or whether we're going to head to the nest. So it's those two options that are basically going to get us two achievements, another giant and innate curiosity. But unfortunately, we can only do one. There we go. He's asking us to check on Spluskas, his friend. 
And then he's going to ask if we're staying or going. Again, I'm going to let this run through so you can see. So for this first one, this is going to be for another giant achievement. First, we need to select, no, I'll stay here. So the top one. Now we just wait a few days. And we have to sit by the window and wait for the Invincible to land. You won't have the achievement just yet, so just sit tight. Again, I'm going to let this play. Okay, it should skip any time. There we go. And in the top right corner, the Invincible should come floating down. And to get the achievement, just click on the Invincible as it comes down. Should be any time now. There we go. Just click on it and the achievement should pop. And now you haven't got to watch all this once you've got the achievement. We're going to cut it and go to the load screen and reload uh, back at the bridge. And we're going to run the Peacemaker path again. So click your load. And then let's reload back at the radio station at the top of the bridge. So once again, we are back at the bridge. And again, we need to run the Peacemaker path to get uh, the next achievement from the hibernation chamber, which is what I said earlier, the innate curiosity. So we're going to skip this as quickly as we can. We want to move on to the Necro Evolution part once again. Exactly the same run as the Peacemaker. So let's do that. Now again, we should have the Necro Evolution Theory pop up. Here we go. Choose Necro Evolution Theory Discussion. And now we're going to move on to the next bit of dialogue once more. So let's do that. And again, we want to choose Ensure This Is How Evolution Works. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already In short, this is how evolution works, the top one. It makes no sense. What is a guiding principle? And then after this, Novik is gonna ask Just if we fully agree Apparently the machines or not. One so let's move to that one. They use the same source of energy. Indeed. To put it simply. Once again, we're gonna choose I fully agree we shouldn't attack. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? That's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes. Here we go. Well, I fully agree we shouldn't attack the very top one. Yeah, I very much agree. And, and now we're going to let the dialogue roll. Just a few and same as before, to regenerate. What if we destroy their we're going to uh, yeah, we're going to choose to evacuate from here. To the entire planet. It's impossible. Again, this is a little bit tedious having to redo this every time, but. I believe this is the last time we need to do the Peacemaker pathway. Just to get us to the hibernation chamber. There we go. Rohitra is asking. We want to evacuate from here. We can leave this place and never come back. So now, yet again, he's going to go through the motions and one press of a button. And he's, he's going to bail. He's going to give up and not drop the bombs. So move on and we're going to quickly, I'm going to skip all that and we're going to quickly go to the hibernation chamber to get the innate curiosity achievement. So let's go straight to that. So now back at the hibernation chamber, once again, choose any dialogue. And then we're just going to wait for him to ask us to go to his friend again. I'm just going to wait for that one. And then basically this time, we are not choosing, obviously, uh, to stay with him. We want to we wanna go this time. And basically this will allow us to go to the nest, which is pretty cool. I was hoping it was actually a lot more than what it is, but... Nevertheless, you clearly haven't visited the so now he should ask us about Spluskas again. Procedure for a long recovery. 
There we go. We're already there anyway, waiting. I think this was a little bit buggy for me. I just I couldn't quite click on him. There we go. <laughs> Glitched out a little bit, but we made it. So there we go again. He's asking us, shall we go to the nest? And this time you want to select, I decided to go. So there we go. I decided to go, the bottom one. And now this should uh, like fast forward us to the nest. Again, this is for the innate curiosity achievement. And you have to take the peacemaker path to actually get to the hibernation chambers. I intend to. Here we go. So now we are at the nest, and all you want to do here is just follow it along. It actually looks super cool. Follow it along to the very end. And we should gain the achievement when we reach the end of the path in the nest. Yeah, this would have been super cool if there was more to this ending. Maybe a lot more content, but either way. And now what Yasna's going to do is release those flies into the into the air with the rest of them. And I believe anytime soon, the achievement should pop for you guys. There we go. That's pretty awesome. They've, rec they've recognized us. Alright, so now what we can do, we can fast forward and we're going to reload the game once again uh, back to the uh, bridge. Same position as before. And now it's time to use the uh, syringe. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, uh, we are back at the bridge, reload the save, and basically we are onto our last few achievements, uh, which are not too far away, actually. So this one is going to be the strong objection, and we finally get to use the syringe on Rohitra. Uh, and all you want to do here is, again, go through all the dialogue until we get to that same part as before, the Necroevolution Theory. And um, yeah, let's skip ahead to that point once more and then we'll choose the correct dialogue. So at this point we want to choose, there's no point speculating. Should be coming up right now. There you go. There's no point speculating, so the bottom one this time on this run. Again, a lot of these runs are pretty similar in what dialogue we choose, so... I'm going to let this run through as well, so we're going to go through all this dialogue till the end now. Again, this is for the strong objection. So now Novik is going to ask if we agree, and we want to fully agree we shouldn't attack. So the top one, I fully agree we shouldn't attack. Top one. And then as we did before, we want to evacuate from here because Rohitra is going to ask, well, if we don't attack, then what else can we do? Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them And then it's going to be slightly different after that. Now we have the syringe in hand. After all, the flies need nowhere, water or food, only solar energy. So here we go, Rohitra is asking what else can we do? Evacuate from here. And he's basically not going to give in. How so? Your commander will swoop down from orbit and pick us up, or do you have an extra ship up your sleeve? I'm afraid none of these. 
He's not going to give in, and we can't let him do it. So, get ready for the next dialogue. Nothing else flies around here, I checked. Let's drop it, all right? Further discussion is pointless. The charges are almost There you ready. go. Rahitra, for fuck's sake, be reasonable. You won't stand down, will you? So choose, I'm sorry, I can't let you do it. And then right after this, you want to walk up to his neck. I click on his neck and we'll stab the uh, syringe just like this. Knocks him clean out. Boom. That is your strong objection achievement. You should have that now, I believe. It should pop at any point. So once you've got your achievement, we can then move on to uh, the final two achievements, or three. Uh, the final two achievements, uh, the violent solution and the uh, the invincible. But you'll get the invincible right after the violent solution, so that's not an issue. So go ahead, reload the save uh, once more, and we'll start back at the radio station. So for these final achievements, we are going to be doing the Violent Solution and the Invincible. Uh, you can also grab the uh, achievement called The End. Uh, but you should already have that anyway. That'll probably trigger you. You literally just need to complete any ending to get that one. So if you don't have it, just let these run all the way through till the credits are done and all that stuff. And you should have The End achievement. So this one's the Violent Solution and... Once again, you want to go all the way until we get to, you guessed it, the Necro Evolution Theory Dialogue. And that should be coming up very shortly. And this time we're going to be choosing the, uh, there's no point speculating. Only the machine survived. And then what? Here we go, it should be coming up now. And then we want to choose, uh, there's no point speculating. And then we're going to, I'm going to let this roll again. Now Novik should ask if we agree with them being invincible. And what we want to choose is there is a chance of success, but it's small. So now Novik's going to ask, as he has done a million times. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes. Do now we want to select. Well, there is a chance of success, but it's small. The bottom one. This is going to work. Basically, we're we're agreeing to bomb them. So. What are you saying? After a sufficiently powerful explosion. And now we're hit chart will ask if it's worth trying with smaller charges and there might be different options you can choose on this but i chose it won't hurt to try so we know that works so when the next dialogue comes up select it won't hurt to try we can destroy the cloud here we go oh there we go we're hit asking we'd have to wipe out the entire planet that's not our goal here, is it? No, it's not. So you think there's no point trying smaller to charges, and we want to choose. It won't hurt to try the bottom one. I guess it won't hurt to try with a few small missiles. You guess, Doctor. So now, what I'm going to do is let all this play out. It's not really a big. We're going to watch the bombs drop. I still have significant concerns. Basically, once the bombs have dropped, you will get the violent solution. Well, indeed, Novik. I knew Yasna would understand. Now, you can do if you take the alliance based path, you can still get the violent solution uh, ending. However, you can't get the invincible achievement. So, always make sure that you take the landing zone pathway that's like earlier on in the game. And guys, if you're unsure, I did do a written guide, which I will put in the description and comments. A uh, complete written guide on Steam. You don't have to have a Steam account to actually view it. So regardless what platform you're using, uh, you can view the guide itself and it'll take you through every Watch single achievement. Boom. There we go. 
Nukes are down. And now what's going to happen here is the flies are just going to swarm us. So basically if you if you don't go to the landing zone pathway the hopper will be safe and you'll be able to evacuate where we don't want to evacuate otherwise we can't can't get the invincible ending. I'll show you why. It's coming up short now. So as you can see look at that the, the swarm of flies are just insane. So now usually you'll be able to get on the hopper and get the hell out of there and escape it all but Right now, we can't do that. So the Invincible is basically witnessing the devastating power of the cloud. And you'll see they're just going to swarm this place and destroy the windows. And that is it. Here we go. And Yasna falling into a deep song, as always. They should start cracking the windows and stuff. So I believe you should have your Violent Solution achievement already. Boom, there we go. And I'll break through and end us. And there we go, you should have the Invincible Achievement. And that is it folks, that is everything. That completes the game, so thanks for watching guys, I really hope this has helped you all in getting your endings, and you should have your The End Achievement now as well, so... Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and all that. And uh, please, leave any feedback in the comments below and I'll... I'll do what I can to improve my future videos. So stay tuned for more videos coming up. My name is Carl. Thank you for sticking around and watching this. Peace.